Hello, my name is Dana Huff, and in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to record and edit simple podcasts in GarageBand. After you've connected your microphone, you need to open the GarageBand software. You'll see a window that looks exactly like this. Select Podcast and click Choose. Give your podcast a name and click Create. You'll notice it looks a lot like a recording studio. If you've ever had a cassette player, you'll recognize the symbols used for the buttons. And the buttons are fairly intuitive to use. This button will take you to the beginning of a track. These buttons rewind and fast forward one measure. This button plays a track. Note you have to turn this button off to stop. When I first learned how to use GarageBand, I thought it was counterintuitive to use the play button for both play and stop. None of these buttons will do anything until you have a recording, which is where this button comes in. If you want to record, you simply need to press this button and speak into your microphone. Now, because I'm a woman, I'm going to select the option for female voice. Be careful not to put the microphone too close to your mouth or your listeners will hear a popping sound with your P's and B's. When you're ready to stop recording, you simply press the play button. You can try listening to the track again by pressing this button that takes you to the beginning of the track. Let's say I want to edit the end of the recording. There was some lag time between when I stopped speaking and when I pressed the stop button and I want to get rid of it. Editing is very easy. You simply click down here in the audio region on the area that you want to delete, select it, and you can hit the delete or backspace key and the piece that you selected is gone. Well, let's say I deleted too much and I need to get that piece of the recording back. I can undo the delete by going to the edit menu and selecting undo delete region and you can see that it's back. I can also go to the edit menu after I've selected my piece and either cut or delete that area that I want to get rid of. It's also very easy to edit something in the middle of a piece. You sele select the part of the middle that you want to get rid of and you can use the same methods to cut or delete that piece. And you'll notice that you have two pieces now so you may want to drag the second piece closer so that there is a more seamless transition in the recording and it will sound like a seamless hole. If I cut it instead of deleting it, it's on my clipboard. So I'm going to bring it back here and show you that. Okay, this time I'm going to cut it and I can paste it and move it around if I want to. So as you can see, recording and editing your tracks is very easy in GarageBand. In my next demonstration, I'll show you how to add some effects and music to your podcast and how to save it and export it.